Antarctica stores enough frozen water to raise global sea levels by 58 metres. Knowing how much of this ice the continent is losing is key to understanding the effects and impacts of climate change. Even today, flooding happens in coastal cities when storms coincide with high tides. As sea levels rise, these rare events will become commonplace. Knowing how rapidly to adapt is crucial information for urban planning. That's where satellites help. Thanks to the missions our space agencies have launched, we can track ice sheet losses from space with confidence. This allows us to measure their past contribution to global sea level rise and also to improve future predictions. INBI is an international team of polar scientists working together to provide a single global record of losses from Earth's polar ice sheets. In our latest assessment, we've used 11 different satellite missions to track Antarctica's sea level contribution since the early 1990s. Ice losses from Antarctica have caused global sea levels to rise by 7.6 millimetres since 1992. But there's been a sharp increase, with almost half of the loss coming in the last five years alone. And the continent now contributes 0.6 millimetres to global sea level rise each year. We've long suspected that changes in Earth's climate will affect the polar ice sheets. The rapid increase in Antarctic ice loss is due to ocean melting of glaciers in the Amazon Sea and ice shelf collapse at the Antarctic Peninsula. These events and the sea level rise they've triggered are an indicator of climate change and should be a concern for the governments we trust to protect our coastal cities and communities.